This is the CS2420 class and we are continuing on with our B tree class. This time we are going to code three different traversals of the tree. We're going to do a pre-order, an in-order, and a post-order traversal of the tree. So I'm going to start by, uh, maybe I'll just copy that, modify it. I'm going to start by putting my function, my template in for each of these. Fix the order here in just a sec. All right, there we go. And make these methods. Okay, now anytime you do a tree traversal, we once again are going to need to use recursion. All right, is that all working? That is all working. Okay, good. Um, I know it's not working yet. I need my scope resolution operator. I'm just going to copy this so we can be fast in the video. Void. Okay, so since I need, I'm going to be using recursion, I'm going to come up to the top of my class and I'm going to do three helper methods to help me do this since I'm using recursion. Anytime you use recursion you use a, healthy, a helper method and on all three of them I'm going to give a pointer to the current node. You noticing a pattern here? I hope so. So I'm going to paste that in here and we now have my pro function prototypes all set up. I'm going to copy my three traversals paste them in and I'm going to add that. That's not what I wanted to add. I wanted to add the pointer to my current node, but I forgot to copy it. All right, now I can copy it. All right, so now I have three methods set up and three helper methods set up. Okay, just like we did in the delete method for our, our traversals, all we have to do is call the helper method. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little see out statement to tell us which one it is. So this one is going to be our uh, pre-order traversal and then I'm going to call my pre-order traversal method of the tree starting at the root. And that's all I have to do for all three helper methods is just call the he helper method associated with it. And just so we can see, I'm printing out the, the words of which traversal it is so you know which is which. So I need to change a couple of these things though, right? So this one becomes in order and it also becomes in order here. This one becomes post order. and this one becomes post order here. All right, so it looks like we're doing a pre-order uh, traversal of the tree. A pre-ordered traversal of the tree prints out the node first. We're assuming the node actually exists though. So here we're gonna do an if statement for that that says if the current node exists, then we're gonna do a see out statement for the um, item and we might want some spaces in there so I'm going to do a less than and put a, a space there. There it is. So it prints out the item first and then it prints out the left node then it prints out the right node. Since I'm doing pre-order I'm going to say pre-order cur left pre-order her right. Okay, I'm bringing back my picture of a tree so we can show you how that's going to print out. So in this situation, it prints out the node first. So let me grab a text and we'll print out what it's going to look like. So it's going to print that 11 first. It's going to put a space and then it goes to the left. So it's going to print out the 6. Then it's going to go to the left. It's going to print out the 4. Now, this one can't go to the left, so it's already printed out the left. It's going to now print out the right. 
which is 5. Now it's already printed out the node and the left and the right. It's going to come back to this point and so this one at this point is done. It comes back here. This one has already printed out the left. Now it's got to print out the right. So it's going to print out an 8 and then a 10. It's going to come back up to this point. That All of this side has now been printed. It's back at the root and the root has now printed out everything to the left, it's got to print out everything to the right. So it's going to print out our 19, then it goes to, are you kind of following the pattern? This one, it printed out the node, now it's going to print out that 17. Come back here, everything to the left and to the right has been done. Everything to the left has been done at this point, now it's got to go to the right. Prints out the 43, I forgot to put a space there, that's okay. Then the 31, then the 49. And that is a pre-order traversal of our tree. Let's just note that here. Okay, next we are going to do an in-order traversal of the tree. And what that does is that prints out the node, no, not the node, it prints out the left, then the node, then the right. So I'm gonna copy this code because we're just gonna modify that slightly and all we have to do is change the order of where it prints. I'm going to control X this and control V this right here. And this will actually print out in order. And the reason why is because everything to the left is smaller and everything to the right is larger. So this should theoretically print out in order. I think I should be able to run this at this point. Oh dear, I am forgetting to do my std colon colon on all of my c out statements aren't I oh I haven't finished node count I guess I can't quite run this yet but you get the idea so here in this situation if we're gonna do an in order it's gonna start at this point and it's not quite going to print out this node yet, it's going to print everything to the left. And this node has to print everything to the left. This node has nothing to the left, so it's going to start with 4, and 4 is going to get printed. Now it's printed everything to the left, it's displayed this value, it's going to print everything to the right, it's going to give us our 5. So it's back up to this point, this one's already printed. This one hasn't yet been printed because we just printed everything to the left, so it's going to print this one. And this one doesn't have, it's now been printed that one, so it's going to go to the right and it will print out our 8 and our 10. And that formatting looks terrible, doesn't it? What did I do? I printed too many 5s. All right. And now that it's printed everything to the left and to the right, it can come back here and get our 11. And then from 11, it's printed everything to the left, it's printed itself. Now it's going to print out everything to the right. It's going to try the right. Can't print this yet because this one has a, a, a child node here. So we got to print that one first and then the 19. Now it can print to the left. And it can't print this 43 yet because it has a left node. It first has to print the left node, then the current node, and then the right node and then it will exit out of our recursive and if you look just with that logic it's printing out our values in order. Okay the last one can you take a wild guess at what a post order traversal is based upon if this is a pre order traversal? Yeah you guessed it it's it's exactly the same only you print out the node last so it's gonna go to the left first then the right first then the right and then it's going to print out the node. So just by switching the order switches how it goes through the tree. And in that situation let's show you what a post order looks like. Okay, it's not going to print this because it's going to print this last. It's going to go to the left, it's going to go to the right. So this doesn't have a left so it's going to go to the right. This doesn't have a left or a right so it's going to print that 5. Then it's back to this point. It's already printed the left, the right. It's going to print the 4. I should put a space there so you can see it. Okay, now it comes back to the 6. It's already printed the left, 
now it's got to print the right so it's going to come to this point this tries to print the left there's not one so it prints the right and it's going to get that 10. Oh dang it I ended my my text box I accidentally clicked it's going to mess the formatting up that's okay you go you'll get the idea though right so we're at this 10 there's no left the right it printed the 10 then it's going to go to the 8 and then it's going to hit this 6 last because it's finally got the left and the right pointer. Now we're back at the root. It's done the left. It's got to do the right. So it's going to try, it's going to go to the right. This one has children nodes, so it's going to come down here to the left. This one has not a left or a right, so it can hit that one. Now we're back here. It's going to come up a level. Uh, now it's from this point, it's gone to the left. It's got to go to the right. So it's going to get our 31 and our 49. Then it can get our 43, our 19, and last but not least, it's going to get our 11. You notice in a post order traversal, you can look at the root value and see which traversal it is. So if it's a pre order traversal, this root's going to be first. If it's a post order traversal, this root's going to be last. If it's an in order traversal, the values will just be in order and you'll be able to figure that out pretty easily. All right, so those are tree traversals. Um, catch us in the next video and we're going to recursively keep count how many nodes are in our tree and we're going to code our node count method.